Hey everybody, welcome to the Delivery Driver Pit Stop. My name is Michael, I'm your host. Welcome to another fun edition of Fun Day Monday. I hope everybody's having a great Monday out there. Uh, I wanted to get this video out to you ASAP. I was going to post it last night, but it was too late. Uh, I've been doing research and I've narrowed it down for the last, I've been doing research for the last week and a half and I've come up with a huge issue. Uh, the latest Android and slash Apple apps for Grubhub for drivers has a nasty little bug in it. And if you're not paying attention, you will fall victim to it and you will not only have your block removed, not only will you be turned unavailable turn automatically, you will have your block removed if you're on block. And for people that rely on blocks to get calls, you know, uh, this can be a pretty devastating uh occurrence for the day if you're getting your blocks removed so uh what kind of raised my antenna was last week i was on block and fiddling around and i was like for a friday night i said man it's kind of slow so i just going around looking where i my region and i noticed my client was set to unavailable it was like hey wait a minute i just had a call 15 minutes ago how was my client set unavailable i didn't turn it to unavailable uh, I mean, that's odd. So I turned it right back on and thank God I f got it in time that it didn't reassign my block. I still ha was on block. So it was within uh, 10 minutes. So as many of you know, uh, one hour before your Grubhub block, if you do blocks, Grubhub sends you a text saying your, you know, your block's starting in one hour, half an hour before your block, Grubhub sends you another text saying your block start is going to start. Please move to the region. Make sure your GPS is on. Make sure your client's on. That otherwise, your schedule will, will be uh, um, uh, adjusted accordingly. AKA they'll remove the block from you. Then at the top of the hour or the bottom of the hour or whenever when your block starts, you get another text. So they make it plenty uh, clear that you have no excuse unless you have an emergency that you don't know your block is about to start. Um, so got it, turned mine on Yes, last yesterday. 10 minutes after the hour, I get another one. I was like, um, maybe did I just miss the first one at the top of the hour? So I looked through my text, and no. I had one at the top of the hour and one 10 minutes after the hour. And I was like, my client's running. I don't know why they sent me a second warning. What uh, I've covered before on Grubhub, uh, at 13 minutes after the hour, if they cannot get a hold of you, they determine you're not in the area uh, or whatever, they will remove the block from you. So you have 13 minutes, roughly, at top of the hour. So 13 minutes after the top of the hour or 43 minutes after the hour, at the bottom hour. So, you know, 30 plus 13. If you're not there, you get the block removed. So at 10 minute mark, it's basically saying you got, well, you don't know this, but I know this. You got three minutes to turn on your your phone, your app on your phone, or you're going to have your block removed. I was like, I'm looking at my phone, and I'm on. I'm on. The client's on. I'm in the hot zone. I mean, I'm in. I'm. Why were they sending me a, a warning, a second warning? Then I discovered a nasty little bug uh, that you need to pay attention to, because if you don't, not only will you be set to unavailable, you will have your block taken away. And not only will you have your block taken away, uh, you will, if you're a pro or a premier driver, if your attendance rate is anything less than zero, so if you miss any block without a valid excuse, you're, complete, you're immediately eliminated for at least the next rolling 30 days of being a premier or pro because they have zero tolerance for attendance rate. So this is a very nasty bug. I verified it. I've, it's worked twice for me. Uh, I've also uh, sent this information along to my driver specialist and they're passing it along. But until this is fixed, you need to pay attention to it because I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you how to fix it. And hopefully it doesn't happen to you. Uh, so when you turn on your client, I'm going to show you a screenshot. It's just a random screenshot. It's getting, it's, but I'm making a point. Across the top of your, uh, your phone, it's called the notification bar. You notice when you turn on Grubhub, you got that little GH. Here's the screenshot. That little GH letting you know your client is running. That way, you know, you can pull down your, uh, you know, swipe down and open up your app immediately. 
That way you know Grubhub's running. On the two times that this has happened to me where I've almost lost my block, even though my client was open and I was set to available, that little GH was nowhere to be found. So basically, even though my client, my phone is running, the client is running, Grubhub, does its, its system, Grubhub's system that assigns orders, does not recognize that you are running the app because that little GH in your notification bar is not there. That is critical to make sure you're running the app. You always need to check until they fix this that you see that little GH on Android and Apple that that's there. So you can be you can have the phone open and you can have your app open, but if it's not in the I don't know, I'm not a programmer, but if that the GH stands for Grubhub is not in your notification bar, one of the process the process to run Grubhub is not being recognized by the server at you know the Grubhub server and you will get a warning and then after 13 minutes you will have your block removed, you will Set, be set to unavailable and you will take it in the shorts for your tenants rates, which will blow your premier and pro status, which I am not, if you are on Grubhub. Do not let this happen to you. Um, I've reproduced it twice. I'm not going to say how I reproduced it. I let them know, but it is a nasty little bug. Hopefully they squash it soon. And, um, that this is how you now no, this is how you um, solve it. If you close the client, just you know, close out Grubhub and reopen it. Uh, majority of the time, if that GH wasn't there before, that GH will not appear in your notification. So there's only two ways you can fix it that I've come across. One, you need to restart your phone and restart the Grubhub app. Or two. This is for Android. I think it's similar to uh, Apple, but hopefully people that are watching this that are Apple can uh, chime in in the comments and let people know if that's happened to you on Apple. Uh, you go into your settings and you go into your apps menu and you go scroll down to your GH for drivers app. You have to force stop the application. That means you manually force stopping it, hard stopping it, and then you have to restart the Grubhub app. That's the only two ways I've been able to figure out how to um, start, you know, the Grubhub client again, start it properly. Uh, again, you can thank your fine and dandy, and if your Grubhub app is open, but you do not see that GH, you're going to get your block removed. And again, you're gonna get dinged, which a lot of drivers can't afford, especially for the attendance, because attendance, there is zero tolerance for a missed block on attendance at zero. Um, so make sure you're doing this. This is very crucial that you make sure you have the GH on Android and the GH on Apple phones running because if not, you're screwed basically. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, this is happening on uh, app version 3.51 for Android and the latest, I don't know what it is for Apple. I apologize, I don't have an Apple. Whatever the latest version is on Apple, is happening on Apple. The reason I know, a friend of mine that runs the Apple version had it happen to him as well. So it's happened to me and it's happened to him. Thankfully, we've both caught it before that 13-minute that timer countdown and we were able to uh, keep our block and you know set ourselves to back available. Curious what you guys think. If this information is helpful, which I hope it is, for those of you that watch my channel, I would really appreciate one of these bad boys, a thumbs up. Uh, I would also appreciate, that's two appreciations, beginning of the week, if you'd be so kind and subscribe to my channel and hit the, I think it's here, I don't know, it's this side, I, one of these two sides, hit that little subscribe red button, I don't know which side it's on, uh, because it's backwards when you shoot on video, and Ring that little doorbell so you're notified with important updates like this uh, as they come. Also, I've seen a lot of chatter out there about DoorDash's new deactivation policy as well as Grubhub's new deactivation policy. I will be doing a video on those shortly. I wanted to get this video out before that. 
Uh, that Those are just as important for DoorDash and Greffa, but this is crucial, and this is a nasty little bug. So make sure, again, you have the little GH in your notification uh, bar at the very top of your phone running at all times, or you will, re will be removed uh, off your block, and you will be set to unavailable, and you will take an attendance dean. Now, if you work off lock, the only thing you have to worry about is them setting you to unavailable. If you work off lock and you don't care about attendance, it's not a point. If you work off lock and you don't care about care about getting blocks, this won't apply to you either. I think that's it. Wow, almost 11 minutes for me rambling on. I hope everybody has a great Monday. Uh, please follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, I think that's it. I hope everybody has a great Monday evening again. Uh, God bless everybody. We'll see you next time on the Delivery Driver's Pit Stop. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care.